lighting no yes no and we're good hello welcome this video is brought to you by me gusty <laughs> it's me hello guys i slept with my hair up so you're just gonna have to deal with Fabio gusty hair for now. Sorry underrated youtubers. You know some you love all of them now being the biggest YouTube channel I just wanted to spread awareness to these other channels that need it more than I do <laughs> No, uh, so I have a little community of around six to ten people here It's a good trailer park town meeting community and I just wanted to present you guys some little YouTube channels that are thousands of subscribers ahead of me, but I don't really care. I just want to share with you guys some YouTubers that you might like that I think should get a little more recognition. It's just a wholesome vibe over here, you know? First up, Any Austin, or That One Show Fun. Virtually a good many years ago, they created this channel. His name is Austin. That One Show Fun, he ran a show on it called Egg Busters, where he would just try out glitches that he found on the internet on the games that they were about and see if they worked. Most of the time they did, sometimes they didn't. That was the excitement in the episodes to see if they worked. And he's been doing that for a long time and now he's kind of branching off into more stuff. I like YouTube channels that do that. These are the only experiences that you can get with uh, small smaller YouTube channels that have been around for a while, or I guess any YouTube channel. You get to see the progression of the person, their interests, their skill on what they do, and you definitely get to see more and more of Austin throughout the channel. He does not do egg busters as much as he used to, but that's fine. He's got a very chill voice. He feels like I'm just, I, I feel like I'm on the couch with him whenever I'm watching a video with him. Next up, Shrouded Hand. Shrouded Hand is a narrator. Do you guys remember the very trendy guy named Cryotic? Cryotic, if not spawned, definitely brought out out these kind of YouTubers to the limelight, where he would narrate creepy stories and creepy pastas. Shrouded Hand does the same thing, except he tells ghost stories and he reports real life cases of horror. He is a horror oriented YouTube channel. His voice, I, I really like it. It's very deep, it's very calm, weirdly enough, for the things he's talking about. And he has an accent. Hello everybody, Shrouded Hand here. <laughs> if you ever wanna feel creeped out, definitely Check out this guy. Next up is a little guy I saw when I looked up doodling ASMR to sleep and have been watching his videos ever since. He is a wholesome dude with a wholesome community and he's an artist. His name is Peter Dross. This dude is one of the most prominent examples of a guy doing what he likes on camera, people over time seeing him more and more, and him just keep doing the things he likes. And this also brings up another thing of getting to see his progression. He's now doing 3D digital art, it's really cool. He makes amazing sketches, I'll put them up some here, there's some right there. They are beautiful. And he just pumps these out, the drawings I mean. And you can observe him doing all this drawing on any video, on almost any video he does. He just pops out another wonderful majesty like this one, all while talking over it in this very calm voice that he has. Definitely go check him out if you're uh, an artist or are just looking to relax. Maybe not sleep, but just relax. Next one. This guy is bigger than anyone I've mentioned before, but has stopped making videos on this channel. Not for any bad reason, he just moved on. And he was very prominent in the early days of YouTube. So this suggestion is less of a go there and make a community out of it, and more so. There's a huge pile of videos just waiting for you to watch, all by this guy, Make Me Bad 35 Now, I'm pretty sure there might be some videos that are not okay. He was definitely based off of Shock Factor. I don't think he says anything offensive, although you never really realize that until you go back and watch it. Like I watched the um, Bruno Mars Lazy Song music video, and in that video he just does stuff that I do not remember at all watching when I was a kid. Wow. But yeah, this guy was heavily influenced by shock value. He did Omegle videos. He would do public pranks. He did just skits. He was one of the people in my life virtually that actually influenced me to make videos. That being said, if you go back and see something offensive that he might have done, I, I mean, I didn't take after that. <clears throat> it is unbelievably hot in here. I'm sweating. Why did I let my hair down? Ooh, now we're getting into music YouTubers. These are the ones where I always watch a video and it just amazes me every single time. Starting with Samuel Fu Reborn. He's great at playing. <laughs> He's great at playing the piano. He does a lot of Marvel themes on the piano. Just anything you can really think of in pop culture. Lord of the Rings, like every cartoon show, including Gravity Falls. I am always going to single out Gravity Falls. That show? 
But yeah, dude just makes great music in general. And the next half of this whole music thing is Loader. He does great 8-bit remixes. I used to do a series on Instagram and almost all of my outros were 8-bit remixes from him. Any music that you've heard from a game that you're like, God, this slaps. Loader most likely has a remix of it already out. He still uploads to this day. I applaud him. Next up is Flying Pings. Bethany, that's her name. Flying Pings has a little bit of a history. Flying Pings is better known as Bethany Fry. If that name rings a bell to you, then I just probably triggered a huge nostalgia bomb in your mind. Bethany was part of a four-part YouTube channel called Venturian Tale. Venturian Tale was an old OG YouTube channel, mostly dealing with Gmod, Gary's Mod, if you know what that is, and Left 4 Dead. I remember Left 4 Dead being a great series. And they're most popularly known to just create characters from Gmod and and just, you know, create characters. They would forward their storylines and everything. It was pretty cool. But unfortunately, the channel has got into some mud and Bethany has decided to go solo, which by the way, is the right move for her. That was, that was good. Like she did, that was a good move for her. And now since she's been solo, she's been doing great. Her determination has been, been, you know, really admirable. So go watch Bethany. Oh, she's an artist, by the way. Yeah, she does art. Yeah, sorry. Next up it is Justine Paradise. Now, if that name doesn't ring a bell with you, then either the internet failed you or you failed her. If you just want a down-to-earth gal to talk to you while she's doing her vlogs, definitely go to Justine Paradise. She makes great videos and is chugging along, especially after what I'm going to tell you. Justine Paradise was a person that most of the internet collectively agreed to ignore. I'm going to talk about some serious stuff, so if you really don't want to hear about that, then skip. But she is one of the probably many people to be sexually assaulted by Jake Paul. Allegedly. We all know. I don't have to say anything. But Justine Paradise is one of the many people that the internet just collectively decided to forget about. But she's still making videos, she's still going strong, and I don't think I'm losing any followers or any sponsorships when I say, fuck Jake Paul. That is the only time I'm not censoring myself saying that, because God, that guy. Whenever I'm down on my luck and sad about where I am, just think about Jake Paul and where he is in life, you know, and where I am. Oh man, that guy. And for this last one, I feel like we all have this one YouTube channel we watch where we think that they're small until we actually go to their channel. It's like, wow, they have 5 million subscribers, neat. And for my selection, I picked Expert Thief. Expert Thief slash iSexy is a great content creator. He is one of the many OG YouTubers. Started out with sketch comedy, does vlogging I think now on the iSexy channel, and does gaming on the Expert Thief channel. And his Grand Theft Auto series is amazing. He has an incredible amount of them, but every one just makes me smile. There are so little series on YouTube that have that many episodes of one thing that are still a joy to watch every time I come back. I come back like once a month and check up on how he's doing and he's still pumping out with the same amount of passion and energy. I love Love it. And then I went to check his subscriber list and he has a lot. Let me check. Yeah, the dude is, wow, he almost has six million. That's impressive. Well, that was it. Thank you for coming to this little wholesome place, wholesome town. I'm glad I could share with you some YouTubers that maybe you will watch now. Maybe I'll do another part of this. Maybe one day I will be up on the list. Uh, but that's all we can really hope for, right? I will say though, if I do ever make it to a million or more, I will definitely not stop giving a voice to smaller YouTubers. When YouTube started, that's all we had, small YouTubers. Small YouTubers made YouTube the beautiful thing that it was. Of course, before, you know, corporate mindsets took over, but I'm still here in this little YouTube video, aren't I? So many great faces were made off of YouTube and they started small. If you want to talk about your gamers, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Markiplier especially, or just OG YouTubers that would make skits like Jack's films. These people are good people, at least from what I know. And you know, they started somewhere. You know, they didn't start with 1 million, 23 million, 30 million. We need small YouTubers. Uh, enough of my rant though. I just, I feel like a lot of humans don't really realize what they're capable of, but maybe you do. So that's why you should subscribe. Click that like. <laughs> that was good. Come on, dude. That was really good. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Gusty. Subscribe and uh, yeah, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, definitely do it. You know, there's nowhere to go but up. So, bye. Go watch the Hawkeye trailer. Just released. It's pretty dope. Okay, bye.